Hey, what is up everyone? It is JZKs here. Today I'm bringing you some Space Engineers Can You Even Build episode. And this is going to be the start off of the episode for episode one, yeah. And uh, yeah, so as you can tell, my mic uh, quality has probably changed if you notice from my previous videos. In fact, all the videos on my channel, uh, even from a year ago, um, it is. It, it was using the same headset. Uh, this time I got a different headset. It might sound like I might be recording this from a distance. Um, I don't know why. I'm trying to fix that. Uh, this is just something that is kind of irritating as I do get, uh, as I do generally have to change audio settings whenever I get new headsets. Uh, like I said, I don't really often have to do it since I had the same headset for a year, but whatevs um so yeah that's currently an issue trying to be fixed now anyways the ship name is mother um, mothership zeta um it is currently what the title is based off of um from the name of the ship and uh yeah so let's go ahead and get started now let's go ahead and talk about the outside part i will want to tell you guys unfortunately it's going to be a laggy review uh i literally pimped out this ship so much that there's just way too much things going on um, that hopefully uh, the video doesn't come out as bad as I expect it to be when I'm viewing it right now. So anyways, uh, the whole open part of this ship was mainly supposed to be um, a landing area for uh, smaller ships, uh, not necessarily big ships. Uh, if it is small enough for a large ship, um, it could land here uh, it is it is a pretty big ship uh, I, I definitely spent quite a bit of time uh, out of my uh, days you could say to build this ship um, so yeah there was a lot of effort and timing put into this um, now that, that was pretty much the entire use of the ship uh, was to make it just a big aircraft carrier type uh, the, the bottom has the same concept in fact that could be another landing area because you know obviously in space gravity doesn't really have a major effect on you in fact it doesn't at all and uh yeah so let's go ahead and get in the inside and as you can tell it is completely surrounded uh the ship side is completely surrounded by thrusters uh that's pretty much what helps the ship go although the ship is really slow i will have to give you a, an early an early head start on that uh, don't be surprised or anything it is a pretty heavy ship and so yeah this is pretty much it uh, uh, for for both because uh, I have two levels uh, the top level which is connected towards the um, uh, I like to call it the air traffic control station because it is meant for uh, small ships to go aboard but I just call it the, the humongous cockpit uh, on the top and uh, uh, yeah so this is going to be the first level and then the second level which you could say is going down to the basement is where all the heavy duty stuff is currently active now as you could tell the entire room is filled with gyroscopes uh, there really wasn't much to put in here if I could decorate this room like minecraft with beds and stuff I I do that unfortunately though there's not much you can do in that decoration area of the game um, and so this continues on. This is the beacon. Uh, I do have gravity generators up in the back. Helps out a bit. Um, the door is open. Oh god. And uh, <laughs> and here's the medical bay or room you could say. Uh, I don't know why that one's strictly facing the wrong direction. Uh, but hey, you know something I can't control at the moment. And then uh, yeah, so that's what you do to refill your health and energy if you're playing on survival mode and yeah so it's just completely filled with gyroscopes unfortunately that does gyroscopes really don't help much but i guess they do uh... for this ship uh, if i were to cover everything with gyroscopes there would be a big difference and so yeah now we're in the second level and as you can tell gravity is completely completely opposite uh... it doesn't want to work with me in fact i try to try to see if i can uh, move the generators and kind of make them in a certain way and then unfortunately because they're at the same distance and radius it it just doesn't work out so unfortunately I just you just have to use your jetpack when going down to the bottom uh, and so yeah let's go ahead and check out the areas uh, the workforce areas that make this ship go uh, sort of
and so yeah as you can tell large reactors everywhere and here's the saving uh, please wait screen it's also a part of the let's play because it decided to interrupt me and uh, yeah <laughs> so yeah here you go uh, nothing special about that it's just uh, lots of generators uh, in fact there's another area over there where, which has more generators just to power and have a little bit of extra energy just in case I decide to implant more and more energy consuming devices uh, so anyways here's the assembler and the refinery you guys know what that does uh, if you don't, uh, I don't either. <laughs> uh, it's just mainly used for for basically refining certain items such as uranium and all those other ores. So let's go ahead and enter the cockpit. Uh, fancy that, young lad. And here is an actual area that's not fucked up by the gravity. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this is the right area. And by the looks of it, it is, or at least the other side is the exact same thing. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the cockpit view. Um, it's not really much, just extra computers or cockpit computers to to suit your standards, just to make it look professional if you get my drift. Not much. Um, and yeah, that's that's the uh, whole design. So, that leads on to other ideas and so forth in the future of the ship. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the specs, because that's something I want you guys to see, and the reason why it's generally a very slow ship. And look at that mass, yo. That mass. That ass. Anyways, 173 million, nearly at 174 uh, kg. No, that's very intense. Uh, I didn't think I was actually that heavy, but then again, I did cover the entire freaking thing with freaking heavy plated armor, so I'm not very surprised in that area. Uh, and that's probably going to be the uh, endeavor of this ship. It's quite bad. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all this... Uh, St statistics of this ship. Now let's go ahead and pump this uh, ship out with speed. And as you can tell, it's it's pretty fast. I mean, hey, I mean, look at that. Look at all those. Let me say. And let's see if it increases my FPS if I were to like just turn everything off. It doesn't do anything. Oh god. But whatever. It's pretty fast speeds in my opinion. Uh, it is a heavy ship. I don't really have experience dealing with very, very heavy ships. Not to mention the disc-like structure, uh, saucer-like too, in, in, in a way, um, that just causes a, kind of like a little hectic issue when trying to do that. And sorry, that's my f steam friend. And, uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of this review. If you guys like what you see and you wish to see more, um, then please, oh my god, why am I so slow? What is this? What dark sorcery is this? I'm super slow. Oh yeah. And so yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. I guess you're just going to see me trying to escape. And, uh, yeah, subscribing helps on my channel. And, uh, more episodes to come. Peace out.